Hi everyone and welcome back to this series of animation tutorials where we're looking at the basics of flash animation. Now you might remember that I already had a nice scene with a bank, a sky, a cloud, a path and some flowers. But look! Look at my stage! It's all gone! Now the reason that it's all gone is I want to start again. As a beginner to this technology, I want to test myself. Can I remember what I'm doing? I'm going to catch up to the point that I was at before and then I will continue. So let's start right now. I remember that I had a blue rectangle which was my sky. So let's just start with a blue sky. Brilliant. I then had a red rectangle which was a bank. And I was messing around with the shape of that rectangle using the selection tool. Do you remember how to do this? I hope so. So let's just make a quick shape of a bank. That's it. Brilliant. Then I started messing around with a white rectangle and I was making windows and doors. In fact, my door wasn't white, was it? My door was grey. Brilliant. And my windows looked a little bit funky and I was messing around with that technique of dragging corners and edges of the shape to, to reshape it. And remember, we're making a cartoon so nothing has to be serious. We're just messing around. Brilliant. Just going to zoom in a little bit. Have a look at the bottom of my door. Yeah, it's alright. There's a little bit of red there, but I don't mind. It's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Whatever. Fine. Now, the next part of this um, was I made a big white sign above the bank, which said, using the text tool, the bank. Brilliant and I put that into the sign and I have to change the color and I have to change the size just so that we can see it inside the sign. Perfect! And I'm just going to create two posts. One there and one there. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go to the paintbrush tool. I'm going to select a color for the brush tool. I'm going to go gray again and I'm just going to make a path. And this is the path of my to my bank. And we'll just kind of close up these shapes. And if we close the shape like that, we can then use the paintbrush, the paint bucket tool. I'm going to go to the eraser, just to erase some of this stuff, because I don't... Ooh, I don't want to erase the, um, the bank, though. Control-Z, zoom in do it a little bit more carefully. I don't want to erase the bank because I'm quite happy with that. So just be careful with what you're doing. Zooming in will help you, no doubt. That's a little bit better. And then I had some flowers. I'm not going to draw them in this tutorial because it's just going to take a bit too long. But I will put in my beautiful dark grey cloud in the sky. Oh no, I got that border color again. Can I remember how to turn off the border color? Let's just get rid of that. There's the stroke, or what I call the border. I'm just going to turn that off and then redraw. That's it. Beautiful. And then we can just reshape the shape of the shape to make it look like a cloud. Does that look like a cloud? <laughs> I'm not sure that it looks like a cloud, but um, it'll do. Not bad for a beginner, huh? All right, it looks like a spaceship. Okay, now this layer is my background. And we decided that um, it's now time to draw my character, which is just a yellow circle. And my yellow circle at the start of the movie is at the end of the path here. And slowly, 
the yellow circle is going to walk towards the front door of the bank. Okay? But when I start moving my character, I start destroying the path. Okay? When I start moving my character, I start destroying things. Oh, I'm, I'm just wrecking everything. This is because the character that I'm moving is on the same layer as the background. They're on the same layer. That is not a good idea. So control Z, 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 bye bye yellow circle. Let's make a new layer called yellow circle. Whoops, I misspelled yellow again. Amazing. And on the yellow circle layer, I'm now going to draw my yellow circle. And you can see, as I move it around, the background is safe. It's not being destroyed like it was before. Because the yellow circle is on a different layer. So be careful with that. Now then, at the moment, our movie is only one frame long. It's not very long at all, is it? Just one frame. So to add frames, well, I'm going to be playing with the yellow circle. So on the yellow circle layer, go to the first frame and press F6 on your keyboard. F6, do you see we now have a new frame? In this frame, what's going to happen? Well, our character moves forward a little bit. And then we get a new frame with F6. What happens in this new frame? Well, the character moves forward again. F6, move forward. F6, move forward. F6, move forward. F6, move forward. Oh, he's moving away from me now, so I'm also going to make him a little bit smaller. F6, move forward and get smaller. F6, move forward and get smaller. F6, move forward and get smaller. F6, move, oh, move forward and get smaller. F6, move forward and maybe get a little bit smaller. That's okay. Something like that. So now look at our movie timeline. The yellow circle there is looking very interesting because lots of things are changing here because I was pressing F6 on the keyboard. So if you drag the red rectangle, if you drag the red rectangle, you can see all of the changes that are happening in your animation. In the first frame, the yellow circle is quite big and it's there, and then as we go through to the second frame, the third frame, things are changing. And slowly, our circle is moving towards the door. Okay? So see if you can create your animation where your circle is moving towards the door. Good luck.